Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. The area near the border of Virginia and North Carolina continues to be rocked by earthquakes. Two were reported so far today, a 1.4 and a 2.2. You can see we got Whitehead, we got Sparta, uh, Great Valley, etc. On Sunday, there was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake. Um, I don't know if USGS revised the location of this earthquake. I have two different sites here uh, within a close location. And I'll bring this out and you can see all the different reports. We got a 2.2 felt, a 2.2 felt, a 2.1 felt, another 2.2, a 2.3, a 2.2 felt a 2.0 felt. These are all earthquakes that should not be felt by the local population. So either people are on edge. Here we got 1.7 that was felt. So either people are on edge, feeling something much larger may be coming, or USGS has greatly downgraded this. The 1.7 was 6.6 .6 kilometers in depth and 615 people reported feeling that earthquake. This 5.1 earthquake was felt all the way to Charlottesville. It was actually felt over a large area. And I put on here some of the uh, other historical earthquakes that occurred. Uh, here we got 1852, which was a 4.9. And then up over here, we got 1969, a 4.8, 4.3. 1899, a 4.2, 1852, a 5.2, uh, 1921, a 4.0, and we'll come down here, um, 1861, and 1852, a 5.0 and a 4.9, 1926, 4.0. Now, these are all earthquakes that cause damage. Uh, this 5.1 also caused damage um, chimneys. Let's see, we got uh, 1954, 4.2, 1956, uh, 1973, um, 1916, a 5.5, 1924, um, 1886. Yeah, I think that was one of the largest earthquakes. It was either a 7.3 or a 7.7. .7. And this is the location of the current uh, swarm. Here we got uh, Charlotte. And then I looked up on folkworm uh, Siri Memphis Education. This is the earthquake, the 5.1 um, that came in at Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina. Uh, this one here is the 5.1. Now this is Charlottesville, Virginia. You see, we got a little bit of P wave on there and cow camps ridge in tennessee that's the signature as it came in there here we got avondale springs tennessee so it was felt over a very large area 101,847 people did report feeling this earthquake this here is the felt map on usgs and let's see here. We got, um, when it initially came through and I did a report on it, I mentioned how I felt it here in South Dakota. And evidently there was, um, three, four other people, one person in Sioux Falls, um, um, Rosalind. Let me pull this up for you so you can see it. And I don't know if they bothered putting my report on here. I did report on Carpenter. So, no, they do not have my report that I filed with USGS. Uh, let's bring this in. See, I, I'm, I'm up here in Watertown, South Dakota. And they did not list mine as a felt report. How many other people did they do that to? We got a report in Sioux Falls, down by Sioux City. Um, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, um, Texas, look at that, Texas, 
and people as far as uh, Miami, Florida reported feeling this earthquake. So if we look this here, I mean, I, what I got in green, let me go back here and I'll show you. This green line where all these earthquakes have basically happened in the past, that is a southern Appalachian seismic zone. Yeah. And we all know that earthquakes are increasing as the magnetic field weakens and that the continents have increased in their movement. They're always moving the continents, but the continents have increased in their movement. Most of the past historic earthquakes have been, oh, in the fours and fives. And like I said, there was that one that was a magnitude seven. History does have a, re a you know, a way of repeating itself. And because of the way the ground is formed, not like the West Coast, earthquakes are felt and damage is uh, reported over a much larger area than, uh, say, you know, in other places. There we go. So we know that this area is capable of having maybe um, a 7.7 .7 or, or greater. So what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, these earthquakes are going to continue. I hope everyone is prepared for something larger to come. Have a plan where you're going to meet your loved ones. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.